Hello my dear family members I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Mahindra Rise exam as I have got information that guys you are facing some issues to write the code so today what I'll discuss I'll discuss the most recent quants and logical questions I'll discuss how to write the code and everything you need to know right now okay so let me share that like uh, I have been getting these questions like uh, cannot able to write two coding questions I was confused a lot in where we should write and I have a little knowledge on trade so uh, let me share that that is you have to write the code here so let's say this is the problem as you can see I am not able to solve full questions because of copyright issue so the question is written in readme.md file okay probably you are inside the readme.md file what you have to do you can see the uh, coding problem one java this folder is now collapsed so that's why it is minus otherwise it will be in plus format okay so click on this and it will be uh, like collapsed and then under this there will be one folder called src inside that main inside that java inside that com inside that acolyte inside that assignment folder so just visit this path and probably you will have the questions name dot java right so this is questions called mixed chains so that's why the problem name is mixed chain dot java so please visit according to this folder and write the code inside this mixed chains dot java or your code names dot java okay or if you are from c plus plus then according to you just visit the same path uh, so in case of uh, your code i mean if you are from cpp then your case it will be cpp okay in case of java it will be cpp okay so now you have to write uh, if there is two folder you have to write two codes or you have to connect the codes if you have only one codes one class then you have to write only one uh, file okay i hope you want to where to write the code now let me share what was the questions which is related to quants and logical okay so the first question will be but before that guys please do subscribe this channel so that i'll be motivated to make more content for you and as you can see i have been uploading various content on mindra mindra rice exams uh, like logical technical and also the coding questions so please uh, subscribe and share this channel okay okay so this is the first question which was asked recently and in recent tribe so please keep the answer in the comment section before i give the answer okay so i hope you have tried so three bells ring at 15 20 and 30 second uh, in interval when will they next ring together after 12 pm so what is the answer so uh, in this case uh, the rings are ringing at uh, the bills are uh, bells are ringing at 12 pm so next when they will meet together when they will uh, ring together that is LCM of 15, 20 and 30. What is that? So 3 into 5. This is the LCM. I mean uh, factorization. Factorization of 20. That is 2 square into 5. Factorization of 30. That is um, I think 3 into 2 into 5. Yes. So what is the uh, like LCM? that is 2 square into 3 into 5 so 4 into 3 that is 12 into 5 that is 60 so 60 second after 60 second they will again ring together so after 60 second means one minute so the correct answer will be option a i hope you understood guys so please uh I hope you understood if you have any problem then let me know in the comment section as you can see guys this is my handwritten notes so here we have these notes that is if the ring bells together then what's the solutions and if the traffic lights traffic lights are blinking at an interval of 36 42 and 72 uh, seconds then when they will meet together I mean when they will blink together so that's case the answer will be also LCM of those so this way you have to answer so the same problem can be asked in different way like three boys are running on a track okay three boys are running on a track so if the first boy is starting here at some time 12 p.m. let's say and uh, 
she he like uh, cover the whole track at one minute in one minute and the second boy cross it at two minute and third boy cross it at less than that let's say 30 second so when they will meet together so this way the same problem can be asked okay so i hope you understood that okay so let me share the next question so the next question is this in a class the ratio of the boys to girls is 4 is to 5 if six more boys join the ratio becomes 5 is to 4 how many girls are in the class so how to solve the problem this is uh, like the question is from ratio please give the answer in the comment section as if you want to get all this type of quants question which was recently asked only and which was repeated and the repeated coding questions interview questions and technical questions as well please visit topmentio slash techno underscore uf there we have precise prime materials for minor eyes here you will get all of those at a glance if you have less time then also it will uh, work as you can see we have been recognized as 0.1 percent influencer in topmate.io here we are recognized differently so please have that and get the materials okay it will be very much helpful for your upcoming drives okay so let me share the answer so in this case so six uh, four is to five right four is to five this is the boys is to girls ratio now if six more boys join let's say the boys are 4x and girls are 5x right now if six more boys join that means 4x plus 6 then the ratio will be 5 is to 4 now you have to just calculate the value of x you will get the output right so 4 into 4 16x plus 24 is equal to 25x so 16x minus sorry 25x minus 16x that is 9x is equal to 24 uh what is that 459 16 24 5 into 5 mm, 5x 9x uh, i think option is different um how many girls are in the class right so actually the process will be same i think uh, the options are different so i hope you understood the process how to solve this so that's enough okay so let me go to the next question so the next question is this a man bought an article listed at 1500 with a 20% discount and sold it at 20% 10% profit what was the selling price so this is from profit and loss a man bought an article at 1500 with a 20% discount 20% discount means uh, 1500 but but 20% discount that means at 80 percent he bought like cost price will be 80 percent of 50 1500 of 1500 right so how to calculate this quickly that is 100 percent of 1500 will be 1500 10 percent of 100 uh, 10 percent of this will be 150 okay now 20 percent will be just double of it okay 20 percent will be double of it so that is 300 so just deduct so 100 minus 20 percent that is 1500 minus 300 that is 1200 so that will be 80 percent right so i hope you understood so cost price will be 1200 now and it sold it at 10 percent profit so if i profit 10 percent so 100 percent of 1200 is 100 percent right 100% of 1200 is 100, uh, 1200 but 10% 10 will be 120 so 110% will be just add both 120 120 plus 1200 that is 300 1320 so the correct answer will be this i hope you understood how to solve the problem guys please do subscribe this channel so that you will get more content and you will get the latest uh, content right so i hope you will do so okay so now let me show you the next question so the question is the sum of ages of a father and son is 50 five years ago the father was five times older what's the son's current age so these are the options please 
think a little pause the video give the answer in the comment section before i give right so the sum of the ages of a father and son is 50 uh let's say the boy is x and um, and uh, father is 50 minus x because their sum is 50 right x plus his father is equal to 50 so x is the boy and 50 minus x is the father now five years ago what was their age so five years ago the boy's age was x minus 5 but the father is was five times older five times older means uh, the five years ago the father was five times older than the boy so five times of the boy right is equal to 50 minus x minus 5 so five years ago the age of the father was 550 minus x minus 5 right and five years ago the age of the boy is five times five times older so x minus 5 into 5 i hope you understood so now if you have you can cal calculate this so 5x minus 25 is equal to so now let me go to the next question that will be a quiz question for you guys so in a fact 60 percent of workers are above 30 years and 40 years of those are women if 480 workers are main above 30 how many total workers are there so please give the answer in the comment section guys i'll be waiting for your replies and comments so please do, do post your problems and your recommendations i'll give importance to your comments okay so guys please do subscribe and if you want the materials then have it and grab the opportunity thank you